know how we do when we finally come on God's side. Yeah. All our bravery just go out the window. Y'all yeah. understand? Right? <laughs> All our determination just go out the window. All right. Act like you didn't go down on the block to the park on A Street. <laughs> Walk to the F and down, nigga. Y'all ain't saying no. <laughs> Amen. Then as soon as you come in chase, I can't get out at night. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be out all night. Now, Amen. God save you. Amen. Now you can't get out at night. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right, now. Yeah. 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 Oh, I was supposed to be preaching this. <laughs> you preach it. John, the ninth chapter, before I get in trouble. Thank God for all of you who are here today. Praise the Lord. Amen. St. John, the ninth chapter. That's in the New Testament, in the fourth book, in the New Testament scripture. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to uh, begin reading, just to keep you from getting angry. I'm just going to start at verse 24. Amen. St. <laughs> uh -huh. John, the ninth chapter, verse number 24. He said, uh, Then again called they the man that was blind. Uh -huh. And said unto him, Give God the praise. Uh -huh. We know that this man is a sinner. Yes. And he answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. Mm -hmm. All right. One thing I know that whereas I was blind, <laughs> yeah. now I see. All right. <laughs> Then said they to him again, What did he uh, to thee? And how opened he thine eyes? He answered them, I have told you already, and ye did not hear. What more would you hear it again? Will ye also be his disciples? And then they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple. But we are Moses' disciples. Yeah. We know that God spake to Moses. Lord, but as for this fellow, <laughs> we know not from where he comes. Mm. The man answered and said unto them, Why, herein is a marvelous thing mm. that ye know not from whence he is, uh -huh. and yet he have opened my eyes. Yes. Now we know that God is not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Uh -huh. Since the world began, as has it not uh, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? Mm. If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. Yeah. Right. They answered and said unto him, Thou was altogether uh, born in sin. Uh -huh. mm. Does thou teach us? And they cast him out. <laughs> Jesus heard that they had cast him out. And when he found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? Right. And he answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? Mm -hmm. And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, uh -huh. and it is he that talketh with thee. Yes, and he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshiped him. Yeah. He said, Lord, I believe. Yeah. And he worshiped.
Christ here. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you believe, y'all ain't saying nothing. Yes. Then you ought to worship him. Lord. If you believe I'm saying, then you ought to worship him. The reason I worship him is because I believe in him. You, you, you cannot worship something or somebody that you don't really believe in. Else your worship will be like a lot of what appears to be now where folk worship some Sundays. Y'all ain't right. And other Sundays don't find a need to show up. Uh, all right. If you believe on him, then you ought to worship him. Uh -huh. I wanted to talk about this today uh, because we see where we were not born knowing God. Uh -huh. We were not born uh, being able to identify the works of God, nor the hand of God. Right. At some point, something had to happen in life mm -hmm. for us to get to know the true and the living God. Yes. And I saw something interesting. Somebody said a lot of folk been in church all their lives. Yeah. When really they just been in church, but church hasn't gotten in them. Right. And it says they know all of the hymns, H-Y-M-N, -N, but they don't know him, H-I-M. Right. It don't do you any good to know all of the hymns if you don't know him because it is he that we worship. It is he that we magnify. It is he that we adore because he loves us. So we ought to love him. Yes. And I told you before God is not like some of us. Some of us want credit yes. for everything we've done. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you, you understand if, if, if we gave somebody some ice, we want to call our name in it before it melts. <laughs> we, we want credit for everything that we do. Yeah. If it seemed like enough folk didn't know about it, y'all ain't saying We'll bring it up again another time. Uh -huh. All right. They give you something to wear. Mm -hmm. And a lot of folk did, didn't know about it. Uh -huh. You put it on and <laughs> They speak it. Y'all ain't saying that. They're going to make sure that you are aware that they were the one that gave it to you. God is not like that. Although he deserves credit for everything, he's not hung up on stuff like that. You know, because I've known folks who have said, I gave that joke a ride. Y'all ain't saying that. And it didn't even so much as mumble a thank you. All right. And you know you've said it. I bet you I won't. <laughs> <laughs> See if I do anything else. <laughs> you, you, you've done stuff for folk who are ungrateful. And, and ain't nothing bothers us more than for somebody to be ungrateful when we have done something out of, you know, the And Down in there, the kindness of our heart, y'all ain't saying that. Mm. And get us worse than somebody to be ungrateful and take for granted the fact that our act as though we had to do whatever yeah. we did. But some folk are just like that, y'all ain't yeah. saying that. I had a good mama who let me understand that the world didn't owe me nothing. Didn't nobody have to do nothing for me. So she taught us if somebody gave you something, you ought to just say thank you. They don't do it no more, I reckon, but they used to have a way to teach you that. She give you something and you don't say thank you, she'd say give it back. Amen. Amen. They don't do that no more. 
over, but that was a good learning to exercise. Give you something and you don't have. The decent said, the wherewithal they say, thank you, y'all ain't saying that. They just said, give it back. Now, in this, and God just spells God. Hallelujah. God, I don't like to quit right there and we can go yes, on sir. eat. Yes, sir. Amen. What does God say? Give it back. Oh, I gave you the breath you breathed. And you wouldn't say, thank you. Give it back. I gave you the house. Oh, I know you. it was you that worked two jobs. Uh -huh. Stayed up and sacrificed and they ate potted meat and saved your money. But, but the Bible said it is him that give us the power to obtain wealth. He got to give you a mind. He got to make you physically able. And then he got to put the hearts of some evil hearted people to cause him to give you a job so that you can get some money. Amen. Give him that job. You can say, give it back. <laughs> Amen. That husband or wife that you love so dear, he could say, give it back. <laughs> oh, because we wouldn't say thank you. Amen. Because we took for granted and thought God had to wake us up. Yeah. Come on, preacher. Every day that he wake you up, just know that he wasn't under no contract. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Just, just right. understand that he didn't owe you nothing. That's right. But the goodness of God. Thank you. And you all not wait till I ask you to say it. Uh -huh. But it ought to be a thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. 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 Long, long, long before we got here this morning, yes. you should sure have said thank you. Yes. 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 Yeah, just, 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 just to think about his goodness. Amen. And think about what he's already done for us. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, the devil has a way, though, of making us think more about what we don't have than what we have. Yeah, he has a way of convincing us uh, to complain about what we don't have than be grateful for what we do have. And you know, whatever you don't have today, as long as there's breath in your body, there's always a chance you can have it tomorrow. And some stuff, if you just leave it alone and seek the law, y'all ain't saying that. The book I read said, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. And uh, all these other things will be added unto you. In our text, the Bible said that uh, in the opening of this chapter, uh -huh. mm -hmm. that Jesus and his disciples were traveling. Uh -huh. And now they spotted a blind man yeah. uh -huh. who had been blind from birth. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible said that, shut their curiosity troubled them. Uh -huh. Because in that day, it was well accepted uh -huh. that uh, a lot of sickness and disease was as a. Y'all ain't speaking. Uh -huh. <laughs> a lot of sickness and disease was uh, as a result of sin. Perhaps they had had some lessons on it. Uh -huh. But they asked Jesus, Master, who did sin? Uh -huh. This man on uh, his path. Uh -huh. yeah. all right, all right. That uh, would cause him wow. to be born.
born blind. And I think it's kind of, let's shut you know, silly to think that the man could have committed a sin in the womb. Y'all ain't saying that. That uh, would have been held against him to make him be born blind. But uh, Jesus answered and said, neither this man nor his parents have sinned. Yes. Uh, but that the, the works of God should be made manifest in him. In other words, if I can just uh, break that down for you. Come on, preacher. He's saying that the man was born blind. Uh -huh. So that on this day, we could pass by and see him. Uh -huh. yes. And you can ask me why he was born blind. Yes. And I can heal the man and allow him to see. Yes. And uh, that way, God can get some glory. Yes. Out of the problem that the man has. Uh, I think that's good for us because some of us don't understand that everything we're going through is not just about us. But somebody in our family, somebody on our job, somebody in our church, somebody in our community, somebody somewhere need to uh, see you go through. Y'all ain't saying that. And see the works of God on your life. And I think God does a lot of work a lot of times. But rather than give God the glory, y'all ain't saying that. We give everybody the glory Amen. but God. Amen. You know, uh, shit. I had a, a total knee replacement uh, on the 16th of July. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I had a lot of folk telling me, ooh, Lynn, you're doing good. Mm -hmm. uh, who is your doctor? <laughs> you understand that I have folk saying, I won't the same doctor that you had. <laughs> with the idea that the doctor is so good yeah. that irregardless of what's wrong with you, uh, irregardless of how you got in that condition, yeah. it caused folk to feel like the doctor was so good, y'all ain't saying that, uh -huh. that he can fix you no matter what. Uh -huh. uh, to think that uh, you like me can shout with it only three weeks out, y'all ain't saying that. But see, God knew before my surgery that if my knees went bad, I took a step for him, y'all ain't saying that. And he knew that he could trust me and if he healed him again, y'all ain't saying that. got the wrong idea. You asking about the God who performed the same. But who you need to be trying to link up with is the are you asking about the doctor who performed the surgery? But you ought to be trying to find the God that will be healed. The doctor can the doctor can put it together but God has to heal. Amen. Amen. God has to cause it to not be paid for y'all to say Thank you. Well, I'm not inclined to give the credit uh -huh. and glory to the doctor. Uh -huh. But I know that I didn't pray to the doctor before he said But I asked the Lord yeah. to heal me yeah. and don't take a long time. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, Bible said that after Jesus had said this, that neither the man nor his parents sinned, uh -huh. but uh, that the works of God would be made manifest. Yeah. So you need to know God is working all the time. Yeah. 
but sometimes we can't recognize the works of God because the people who God is doing the work on will not testify, will not stand up, will not give God the credit, will not give God the glory. I don't care where I'm at. I tell you it was God. That's who my lawyer was. Yes. <laughs> That's who my doctor was. Yes. The Bible said when he had thus said this, so they could understand it wasn't no shame. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The book said he, he, he spit on the ground mm. and made some clay. That's right. And uh, anointed the eyes of the blind man. Yeah. And I have to say it every time I see this, you know clay and dirt will put out some good eyes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You, put, <laughs> you put some mud on your eyes, y'all ain't saying that. <laughs> Even if they were good eyes, it'll cause you to not be able to see. But Jesus took a man who could not see and was born blind and uh, took uh, what we would certainly consider a natural resource. And uh, you know what's a natural resource for us? Y'all better get this. And I think that's really a bad term, but, but it's a supernatural resource for God. Why, what normally would hurt us, he's able to take it and cause it to heal us. Right. He anointed the blind man's eyes with clay yes. and told him to go wash in the pool of Salome. Uh -huh. I keep on telling folk that some stuff God do for us. Uh -huh. Yeah, he only does the part that he have to do. Y'all ain't saying that. And there's always something that you and I can do. Uh -huh. For Jesus had to use his spell. Y'all ain't saying that. Man. Jesus had to make the clay. And Jesus had to put it on the blind man's eyes. But in order for the blind man to demonstrate that he had enough faith to believe what Jesus was doing, the blind man had to go himself, y'all ain't said that, to the pool of Salah. And now wash his eyes in order to see. Amen. So, uh, the scripture said, uh, shut. when Jesus said, go wash in the pool of Salah, uh -huh. He went his way, therefore, and washed, and came seeing. Don't, that's, that's simple, but don't y'all miss this in case you don't have nothing else to think about tonight. <laughs> Jesus anointed his eyes with clay and directed him to go himself to the pool of Salon and wash. And the Bible said he went his way and what don't don't take it out of order. He went his way and washed and came seeing. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. He didn't yeah. see on his way to go wash. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He, he, he went and washed. Uh -huh. And after he washed, he could yeah. see. Yeah. I, 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 I ain't trying to beat a dead horse, but what I'm trying to tell you is when God has done his part, right. and God right. has done his part, Sometimes God will just go ahead and bless or heal us in faith. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, as he did with the lepers. Yeah. When the book said out of ten lepers, yeah. Jesus told them to simply go show themselves to the priests. Uh -huh. Because in that day, only the priests could declare them as clean. Uh -huh. yeah. And nothing had happened except they had had an encounter with Jesus. Yeah. And Jesus said to them, 
to go show yourselves to the priests. Uh -huh. And the Bible said that on their way, uh -huh. they hadn't got to the priest yet. Don't let it say that. But on their way, they looked and saw that they were clean. And uh, only one of them came back to Jesus to tell him thank you. And some of us get lost between to go show yourself to the priest. Y'all ain't saying that. And in the, the middle of our blessing, you know how we are when, when we really need God. We can hang our head real low. We can grope our way and stumble our way to the house of God. But as soon as God bless us, as soon as God pick us up, yes. rather than come back to the house of prayer yes. and tell God thank you, yes. rather than be here to tell somebody yes. who's going through the same thing you went through, yes. that I know a man who's able yes. to bring you to. Yes. You know that's why I come every Sunday. Some Sundays I don't come to tell you he able. Uh -huh. But I come to hear you say he ain't. Right? Right. Right. Either way, you ought to have a responsibility yeah. of either coming here to tell somebody that God is able yeah. or coming to hear somebody else say that God is yeah. able. Yeah. The, the blind man watched and he said he came back seeing. And so now the book said, that was an interrogation by his neighbors. Uh -huh. yeah, because they saw the man who they know was born blind. Yeah. And you know, somebody, I read to her, <laughs> <laughs> ain't that the man that sat by there? Mm -hmm. Ain't that the man that was born blind? Yeah. You know how some folk are now got the mind that he been fooling us. Y'all ain't saying that. <laughs> been getting our money all this time. Uh -huh. And that joker can see. <laughs> they are a discussion. Y'all better get this. Amen. And the book said they were of two different opinions. Uh -huh. Otherwise, so some of them said that he was him. Uh -huh. And others said, no, that's somebody that looked like him. All right. Yeah. But the man stood up and said, I am he. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I hear you what you're saying. That is me. I am the one that was blind. Yeah. I don't ever mind saying what I was. Okay. You know what I'm, yeah. I'm not going to ask you to say I'm a hypocrite. Uh -huh. But at some point, you ought to be able to say, I used to be a hypocrite. Yeah. You know what I'm I gotta 
knew all of the answers. <laughs> and that's how some folk tell you that's why they won't serve God. <laughs> Because you can't answer certain questions about it. Uh -huh. Why? I ain't never told you I know everything about it. Uh -huh. But what I do know about him is he picked me up one yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't turned me around. Yeah. Yeah. What I do know about him uh -huh. is when I was in sadness. Yeah, yeah he gave me joy. Yes, what I do know about him yeah. is whenever I call him, yeah. he'll hear me and answer prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he asked him where he is. He. Mm -hmm. And I know at that time it was difficult to answer. Uh -huh. But when folk ask me now where he is, he. Uh -huh. And he said of a city, he's everywhere. All right, all right. Not only that, but he's wherever you want him to be. Yeah, if you want him to be in your heart, he'll be in the, your heart. If you want him to be on your job, he'll be on your job. If you want him in your home, he'll be in your home. But the man said, I don't know. And uh, so the book said they took him now. Uh, to the religious leaders uh -huh. who are just like a lot of modern day church folk. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, know all the do's and don'ts about church. Yeah. Yeah. Know when you're supposed to walk and how you're supposed to walk. Uh -huh. You know, uh, church, more worried about whether or not you put your finger up. You ever look at this? Uh, whether or not you walk down the silver aisle yeah. or against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. They know all of the stuff that the church is supposed to do. But I ain't took time out to get to know the Lord. But when you got to know him, a lot of this other stuff don't matter to you. Yeah, I'm not caught up with rules and regulations. I can't get hung up on formalities and orders. But uh, when I come here, I want to get lost in him. Yeah. I don't even want to look good enough to know whether you're doing something you ought not be doing or not. Because when I come in here, I need the law for myself. Yeah. I, 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 if you refuse to call me, yeah. you refuse to worship me. Just so happened it was the Sabbath day when Jesus opened his eyes. Uh -huh. Now, the Sabbath day, they were commanded not to do no work. Yeah. Now, that command came, yes, yeah, through Moses. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, that man would not do any work on the Sabbath day. Yeah. But now, the uh, religious leaders had. Uh, made them some talks, and they had decided how much determined to be work. You understand, otherwise, you couldn't cook your dinner on the Sabbath, but you could cook it the day before and heat it up on the Sabbath. Y'all ain't saying that, and that wouldn't be considered as work. You understand that? You know, if you get out there on the barbecue grill and you grill it for two hours, y'all ain't saying that. You know that's work. But if you grill it the day before, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you can just hot it up a little bit. <laughs> you can just make it edible. <laughs> then perhaps that wasn't considered work. But they were so hung up on the formalities and the laws uh -huh. until they were willing to overlook the fact that a man that was born blind yeah. was not able to see. Oh, yeah. 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 You know 
that's how we are sometimes. We always come out, yeah, that's good, but the principle. I know God healed, but they ain't had no business still in church at no three o'clock. They don't pay all pay for nothing. Yeah. Say that about church and God. Uh -huh. You don't say it about other stuff. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. uh -huh. I watch baseball games that's supposed to be nine innings. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Wind up being 17 innings. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if you don't watch the 17th inning, you might as well not have watched the first time. Because at that point, it would have had to be a time. Y'all ain't saying yeah. Come on. Time we, we only say that about God. We go to a movie and the movie has been two hours, uh -huh. no commercials, and you've been having the TT since you first came in the hell last time, and you won't move. And as soon as you sit there watching the credits roll, not the end like that. That philosophers in church. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. But you know we got a different standard. Yeah. Uh -huh. But everything else is yeah. what we got for church. Yeah. Uh, at work we come and I'm gonna get this overtime while I can. <laughs> I ain't never needed no overtime. Y'all ain't saying that. I mean, I could use the money, but I, if you can't get time back, y'all ain't saying that. And, and, and no matter how much overtime I ever work, I still got broke. I don't need to work no overtime. I need you to give me some money that'll last longer. Amen. And it don't take all that though in church. You know, we just didn't got it. We don't put no uh, set. Uh, you know, we try not to limit God just outright, but we got our way. You know, it don't take all that. You know, uh -huh. don't, don't know why y'all got to stay in church all day. Yeah. It, don't, it don't take all that. You know, God is still merciful and God is still accommodating us because biblical times, the Sabbath day, you might as well have a stay in there all day. You couldn't do nothing. Don't take all day to do nothing. And I've been some places. Uh-huh. You know me, I'm talking about. Yeah. Maybe you hadn't never done that. Uh-huh. But I've been some places. And I say I'm on. I need to be gone. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna sit here till it do so. Amen. Amen. I've been some places. And I know I should have left. Three hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> You're right, ready to go. Go ahead, sir. Phone waiting on you. You got to. <laughs> what you say? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going nowhere. But church.
and I got to go and it just started waking up. Y'all see what I'm saying? Jesus with healing on the Sabbath day. And I think I should tell you, even by their standards, uh -huh. all he did was spit on the ground and made clay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and put that on the man's eye yeah. and told the man to go watch. Y'all yeah. ain't saying man, right. that wouldn't work. Now for me to make the man able to see that would have been work. Y'all ain't saying man. You know my kind of work, either I'm gonna get it or the man gonna have a good job when he get that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Some of us have to try to make the man see. Yeah. That would have been work. <laughs> Perhaps even your eye doctor, that would have been work. But what, what? Somebody to speak the world into existence. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. It ain't no work just to heal the blind eye. Amen. 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 Somebody there. That spake the world into existence. Uh -huh. It ain't no work just that men are broken up. Oh, yes. For somebody who spoke the world into existence. Uh -huh. It's not work to us, church. Make you feel better. Amen. It's not work to restore your joy. Yes. It's not work to deliver your children. Yes. What's work for us is not work for God. They question him and ask him again how he received his sight. Yes. And he said to, the church, to them that the man put clay on my eyes and I watched and now I see him. Yeah. And uh, they said to him, you understand that this man can't be of God. This is conflicting. They say he cannot be of God uh -huh. because he don't keep the Sabbath day. Uh -huh. That's what some of them said, but some of the others said, but he cannot not be of God and still do a miracle like this. Yeah. You know, that's what Nicodemus said when he signed up to Jesus at night and told him, no man can do these miracles like this except it comes from God. Uh -huh. All right. They were in the Bible said that was a division among them as to whether Jesus was of God or not. The Bible said they asked him again, what do you say about the man who opened your eyes? Now, at this time, he said he's a prophet. Yeah. Now, I want you to miss this. The first time they asked about it, he said it was a man that is called Jesus. Uh -huh. But this time, he said he is a prophet. Yeah. And uh, the Bible said the Jews still were not convinced. Uh -huh. They did not believe that uh, the man had been blind from his sight, yeah. from birth. And you know, that's how some folk are. You can't discredit God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then the next best thing is to discredit the witness. Yeah. You know, that's what happens in court. They can know the truth, and they tell you they want to know the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. But they can know the truth, but yeah. that's not what they really want. They want to destroy the credibility of the witness, yeah. even when they know the truth. Because if you can destroy the credibility of the witness, you can ignore the truth. You understand that? Amen. Other words, you saw somebody rape somebody. Uh -oh. But because you got a reputation of lying, uh -huh. if you're the only person that saw it, y'all ain't saying right. yeah. it's a good chance the rapist can go free. Amen. Because the credibility of the witness has been destroyed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, they said that this, this man back with not blind to start with. Uh -huh. And so what they did, they sent for his parents. Uh -huh. And uh, they asked his parents, mm -hmm. we want to know if this is your child. Uh -huh. All right. All right. 
And if in fact he was born blind, and we also want to know uh, how he received his sight. Yeah. So the parents knew and understood they were afraid of the Jews because the Jews had already said that of any person saying that they've seen or that this is the Christ, uh -huh. then that person would be excommunicated or kicked out of yeah. the synagogue. Yeah. So even though they were glad that the man had received his sight. Yeah. Even though they were happy for their son, yeah. they would not confess and say that it was the Christ. Yeah. So what they said was, we can uh, attest to the fact that this is our son. Yeah. Yeah. And we can assure you that he was born blind. Yeah. But now when we draw the line at it, by how he Receive his sight, we can't tell you. But I tell you what, he's a grown man now. He is of age. Ask him and let him. Some of us might use that same cop out. Instead of telling folk what God did for you. Instead of saying it wasn't nobody but the Lord. You know, call somebody telling you you fine and you got it going on. Yeah. I know, maybe I shouldn't talk about it now, but I, I know a lot of folk who used to be fine. Oh, yeah. 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 Fine ain't Somebody compliment you on whatever it is. You ought to learn to say to God, be glory. Yeah. You don't take credit for stuff that only God can do. You hear what I said? You, you don't take credit for stuff that everybody else don't have. You don't take for granted and act like you made yourself. Yeah. So, uh, Bible said, again, they called the blind man. They told him, man, give God the praise. Yeah. And let this long talk about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because, shut. Uh, give God the praise. We know that whoever you said gave you your sight, uh -huh. yeah. he got to be a sinner. Yeah. This would, if I was a blind man, this would put me in an uncomfortable position. Yeah. Because you hating on the man and calling him a sinner. Uh -huh. And perhaps the man ain't never done nothing to you. Yeah. And I know he ain't never done nothing to me. Uh -huh. But what I do know is that because of him, I was blind, yeah. but now I can see. Uh -huh. He said, whether well, he be a sinner or not, yeah. I'm not able to tell. Yeah. But what I can tell you, I know that I once was blind, yeah. but now I can see. Yeah. Yeah. So they asked him again, tell us, well, what did he do and how he opened your eyes? Uh -huh. Got sarcastic and he said, I already told you. I done told you already and you didn't believe. What you want me to say again? I tell you, you, to, you want to be his disciple or something? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. And sarcastic. Mm -hmm. So they said to him, You can be his disciple. That's what the world is telling us. You can be his disciple. But I'm, we Moses is his disciple. You think by now? They would have got it about Moses. Yes. Moses was a great strong deliverer. Yes. Yes. God used him to liberate Israel out of Egypt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He used him to part the Red Sea. Yes. He used him uh, yes, sir. to lead uh, Pharaoh's army. In the middle of the sea yes. and be drowned. Yes. 
Yeah. But uh, when Moses' mission came to an end, uh -huh. you know what Moses did? He closed his eyes and he died. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And just so they would, because sometimes they even looked up folk that were already dead. <laughs> If they considered them to have a lot of power when they were living. Yeah. So, uh, just so that they wouldn't keep going back and bringing up Moses. Uh -huh. The Bible said God buried Moses yeah. in an unknown yes, place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that should have told them that it was over for Moses. Yeah. And they said, as for this fella, we don't know where he come from. Yeah. Just because you don't know where the law come from, yeah. don't mean he not real. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that I don't know about him, yeah. but it doesn't mean he not real. Yeah. A lot of things that I don't understand, but it don't mean that God is not real. Yeah. I cannot tell you how he keeps this guy in place every day. But that don't mean that he's not real. I've never seen the moon on the ground. But uh, I don't understand how he does what he does. But I can't deny what he's done. I gotta tell somebody how long has been with me. He walks with me and he talks with me. He's there. Jesus. Uh -huh. 
The man simply said, it was a man that they called Jesus. But upon further review, he later said, he is a prophet. When asked about it again, he said he come from God. Now, Jesus, the Bible said, when the man began to preach to them, he had answered and told him, Yo, you were all together born in sin, and now you're going to teach us. And you know that's how some of us are. Since we up here, you can't tell us nothing. Since we in the church, you can't tell us nothing. But some of us need to be told something. Some of us need to be told that we are not what we think we are. Some of us need to be told that we are not above God. Some of us need to be told that we still be the living God. Some of us need to be told. Uh -uh. So they said, you all are going to go on and see. Uh -huh. There are some folk, you know, the church I used to try to pass it. <laughs> Sometimes when the older folk didn't like something I said, they would Remind me that they baby is a year older than me. <laughs> he, yeah, they find out a good place to tell me that uh, they got grandchildren older than me. Uh -huh. I think that's a good thing to have a baby so old. <laughs> you know it's coochie cool to have a, a grandbaby old as me. <laughs> but the Lord called me. Yeah. And the Lord sent me. Yeah. And the Lord tells me what to say. Yeah. Yeah. And I heard Peter say it's better to obey God yeah. Yeah. rather than man. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you don't like the word of God. As long as you know it to be true, you ought to ask the Lord to adjust your taste. Y'all ain't saying that. You ought to ask the Lord to adjust your taste but help you to like what's good. Amen. we talk about what we don't like. I'm about out of here, but I remember when I was in the hospital, for my surgery. I heard folks talk about how nasty that hospital food is. When I was in there, that's all I saw. I was eating asparagus. The Brussels treat I mean, them uh, broccoli things. Eating a little trimming around yourself. I'll tell you something, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> They coming in, I got one more broccoli to my two minutes, no more. <laughs> you ought to, you ought to ask the Lord to help you to like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you say your grace right, Brussels sprouts don't taste bad. Amen. You say your grace right. Oh, yeah. Asparagus. <laughs> Don't taste bad. Uh, but the Bible said he was telling them exactly what they needed to hear. Yeah. But they told him, in other words, since you were born in sin, you can't tell us nothing. You know, I'm skeptical of folk who act like they've been saved all their life. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical of folk who uh, act like they ain't never done nothing wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm nervous around folk who want you to believe that they've been saved all their lives. Right. Yeah. I have to tell you, if I'm asked about it, I haven't all 
when it's put right. Not just before I got saved. Y'all know what I'm saying? But I haven't always done right. Even I'm saved. But I got a message from God. He says, if you confess my From all unrighteousness. Oh, what yeah. oh, a yeah. To have a right to live with God. Yeah. They cast the man out. Yeah. And it books out that Jesus found him uh -huh. after they cast him out. That's why I don't trouble me. Uh, I closed the book just 40 more minutes. That's, that's, that's why I don't trouble me when folk cast me aside, when folk write me off, and when folk count me out. So they come out and Jesus found him. When you get by yourself, when you get off the side, when you're all by yourself, he will come to you. You're on me. And you're always yoked up with somebody. You're always in the right by people. So get by yourself sometimes. And listen by the voice of God. Hear it all say. On the Son of God. And the man said, Who is he, Lord? So I can believe. At first, he was just a man that they called Jesus. Then he was a prophet. Then he was from God. Then he was the Son of God. And now he is the Lord. Now, I don't understand folk that been in church all their life and cannot call God by name. Right. Talk about the man upstairs. The man upstairs didn't wake me up this morning. Who woke me up was God. Right. God the Father. He laid me down last night and woke me up this morning. Thank you. 